Hey everyone, Overkill's back with another video, and today we're looking at the Bampresto Dragon Ball Glitter and Glamour's Bulma 3 from Bondi. And this is the first in a line for me, and I usually don't go for this line because I try to keep the statues looking sort of realistic, let's just put it that way, not overly misproportioned, because nah, it's just not what I collect. If you do, that's cool, but that's just not what I get. And I thought that this Bulma overall looks really nice, and it really captures her appearance from the original Dragon Ball. You can see from this front here that she does have the Dragon Radar in her hand with one of her brown gloves and her gun from when she tried to blow Goku's head off. But, you know, it didn't work, so... The description says this is a large-scale figure made... With high quality details such as the slightly wrinkled clothing and the flowing hair. So hopefully that detail shows really nice on the statue itself. On the top we will see that Toa seal of approval sticker. On the side just shows the statue a little bit more without all the words on it. And it does have the Dragon Ball Glitter and Glamour's Bulma. This side just shows a couple of the different looks for her which is really cool. And on the back, you can see there are actually two versions of this Bulma you could get, but I did not want the yellow one. I wanted the one that you've seen in the anime more, which was the pink, so that suited her much, much better. And I know that the yellow has the trunk style hair, but I prefer this look much more. It's already pre-cut to open it up really easy. Should slide out fairly easy too. And it does. We'll set the box to the side. I don't know if there's any assembly to this or what. Like I said, this is a first for me in this line. And it is. It's a lot of assembly. But that is okay. Because we can go ahead, speed this up, and get to the final product. And there is the Bulma complete. You can see that it is a really nicely detailed statue. We got the number 97 on it. It does have the textures grooved in to her dress. She does have a pouch here, a watch. It says Bulma on the front. The gun even looks slightly detailed on it. Not as much as some of the other stuff, but it still looks really nice. Featuring the blue and purple for the boots and socks. I mean, the sculpting and stuff on this is really well done. The hair looks really nice. The gloves look like gloves. I mean, the clothes look like they're actual clothes on her. So that is a really cool feature. But everything on this statue looks really well done. And the clothes look like actual clothes. Everything looks like it could come off like a doll, even though it can't. So it's very, very well sculpted. And I'll be really glad to add this into my statue collection and we'll take a look i can't tell if up here is a flaw or if that's the way it's meant to be because i see a little bit of white inside but we will stop the rotation for now slide this to the side you can see at her scarf it's it actually isn't sculpted wrong it actually does have like bra straps in it so I mean, they didn't leave any paint flaws at all on this. You could tell on this close-up just how well they did on her face, I think. Very well done. Even the gloves, like you could see really close what I mean by how it looks like it could just come off. I mean, that's, that's super awesome. The Dragon Radar, really good detail on that as well. I didn't go with that like one or two Dragon Balls lit up on it, but that's still really nice. Onto the strap and the watch. The watch itself doesn't have any detail inside of it, but it could be just a little closed one, so it's okay. The belt looks really nice. Like I said, the gun looks really good. The skirt is pliable to an extent, and luckily it's not uh, the one. <laughs> it's, it's not the outfit she was wearing when she met Master Roshi. Let's just put it that way. And 
the boots. I mean, it looks like there's articulation as well. This is done. So I'm highly impressed. I'm really liking this. And I don't know exactly which foot this goes on. But it looks pretty good that way. Once again, this was the Dragon Ball Glitter and Glamour Bulma from Bondi slash Bampresto. An amazing piece. Looks really good. I love the sculpt work on it. The shading is decent enough in the areas it needs to be. The hair looks great. The colors are very vibrant. They pop. And they didn't make her overly busty like some of the others in the line. So I'm okay with that. And it to be my first Bulma statue in my collection, it's definitely a win in my book. That being said, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate all the support and tuning in. Until next time, I bid you all farewell.